So Bernard Hopkins beats Tavares Cloud and, you know, breaks his own record. He's now the oldest champion <laughs> again. Um, B-Hop is a legend. You know, B-Hop is really a legend. And um, it's time for people to really sit back and recognize how great this man is. Now, there's going to be a lot of people out there who are going to try to belittle this accomplishment. And they're going to say Tavares Cloud was overrated. And while it might be true, let's not take away from this accomplishment that B-Hop has just done. You know, let's give the man his just due. You know, I mean, the man is doing things that physically should be impossible. And I think he needs to be given full credit for that. This guy's obviously a Hall of Famer. You know, we knew that. But going into this fight, a lot of people were really wondering, you know, was this the fight where he was going to look old? You know, we've seen some sketch performances from him recently, you know, against Dawson. And, you know, you kind of were wondering, OK, which B-hop are we going to see? Are we going to see the B-hop the B -hop that fought Jean Pascal? You know, because that B-hop would have a great chance against Cloud. You know, are we going to see, you know, the B-hop that recently fought Dawson? So a lot of questions, you know, were out there going into this fight. And B-hop answered all those questions, man. And uh, the guy's a living legend. You know, you really took this guy Cloud to school. And props to him. Uh, you know, so what is B-hop going to do next? I mean, he could retire. You know, I mean, here's a guy who I believe is a part owner in Golden Boy. You know, he's got a stake in that. And, um, you know, I mean, he's obviously made his mark on the sport uh, or he could keep going. You know, to me, if I want to see him in the big fight if he's going to stick around. I'd like to see him fight Carl Froch, to be honest. That's a fight that I'd like to see him, him take. Um, there's the Andre Ward fight. It's out there. Andre Ward's a guy who is always looking for opponents. But, yeah, it's, I'd like to see him fight, you know, maybe Andre Ward or maybe Carl Froch. I'd actually probably rather see the Carl Froch fight. Um but yeah, that's just me, you know, so, man, I'm just really impressed with B-Hop, man. I'm really glad for the guy, just tremendous fighter, and, um, you know, how could you just not be amazed by this accomplishment? And what B-Hop is really doing, he's really set the standard for boxers out there. He's really showing these guys that, you know, hey, I mean, if you got the skills, then you could do it, you know, and age really doesn't always have to be a factor, man, but... What he's doing right now is really special, man. I think we need to really appreciate it uh, because I don't think we're going to see anybody do what B-Hop has, has done in the, in the ring, man. I don't think we're going to see this again. Um, so props to B-Hop for handling his business versus Cloud. Um, Cloud's got to obviously try to pick his career up from the ground and, uh, you know, make some moves. Um, you know, I like to see Cloud, you know, maybe take a couple of a legit fights and uh, maybe get him in there with Dawson, you know, and see where he goes from here. But at the end of the day, man, B-Hop is the champion. So, uh, yeah, props to B-Hop. Let me know what you guys think about this, man.